1920, the state of Indiana created the Indiana Farm Colony for feeble-minded. Now that turned into the Muscatatuck Colony, which turned into the Muscatatuck State School, which also turned into the Muscatatuck State Developmental Center and Hospital. Well, in the end, all that sits on what's now Muscatatuck Urban Training Center and the Southeastern Purdue Agricultural Center. Over the past 100 years, a lot of things have changed around here, from the bridges, to the roads, to the buildings. Some of them have disappeared. As a matter of fact, this bridge we're standing in front of runs over Pleasant Run Creek and used to be on 450 West, a road that no longer exists. What we want to know is, what happened to it? And why is only half this bridge still here? The system in 1920 was fairly simple. There was no Highway 50, only the B&O Railroad line and a few unpaved county roads which ran east to west and north and south. One of these roads was County Road 450, the most southern part which ran through the center of the modern day facility. In this overhead photo from 1972, you can still make out the faint lines where the part of the road that hadn't been used in years was still visible. We're standing right here at the corner of what was County Road 475 and County Road 400 back in the day before they all got taken away and disappeared. As a matter of fact, if you look at this overhead picture I have from 1937, you can see we're standing right here at the T Road. And as you come around, that's the curve. We're gonna go ahead and try to see if we can see where it comes out to to find our old bridge. So let's go down this way. Where we're standing right now was County Road 425 80 years ago, the last time it was actually used as a county road. It connects behind us with County Road 400 going east to west. This is the north-south road that actually went all the way through the facility. But the most interesting thing, come on over here, I want to show you something. Right there, that's our bridge. And we're going to go over there next. As you can see, we're on top of the bridge now, and I used to think that these trees actually grew up out of the bridge. I was wrong. If you look down, you'll see that there's an entire ecosystem growing on top of this bridge. If you look down here at the cement, you can actually see the entire root system coming up out of the bridge and on top of it, from an inch thick down here on this end to almost a foot thick on the other end. But the mystery still stands Where's the other half of the bridge? There should be a bridge abutment on the other side of the creek, but it doesn't exist. There's no other part of the bridge. What happened to it? I want to know. The more I thought about it, the more I realized I wasn't about to get the answers I was looking for out here at the bridge. So I headed back to the Muscatatuck Museum and went to the Dr. William Cully Research Room. The answer was staring me in the face the entire time. All I had to do was look at the 1938 annual report of the Muscatatuck Colony. It clearly states right here on page 6, We have caused to be surveyed a new road which is in conformance with the new building area plans and which has been approved and accepted by the Board of Commissioners of Jennings County who at the same time granted permission for the closing and vacating of certain county roads within the boundaries of the institution which interfered with the new building program. So there's the answer. They closed down an entire county road and demolished half of a bridge in order to put in new roads so the road wouldn't go straight through the buildings they were building. They had to knock down half a bridge so that the people who'd lived here for a long time could no longer use that road. It's amazing what happens when you do a little research.